Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you how to take really nice shots of the moon. I will do this exercise on my Pixel 3 XL, Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the shots are taken on the 11th of April which means it's not a full moon but we are at 84% illumination which is not bad. I recommend to use a tripod for this shot to get the best results and I have here my Benro tripod and I'm attaching to it a mobile holder. This photo shoot doesn't require you to leave your home, you simply can do it in your balcony or in the backyard and it's really better for us to stay safe at home. So let me show you my setup but before getting started let's make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So here is my setup, I fixed the tripod at a reasonable height to be able to see everything while sitting on the chair as it's very uncomfortable to bend down while taking these shots. So now let's see how to take a good shot for the moon and I will start with my Pixel 4 XL. First thing you need to do is to activate night sight because this is the only way to get the infinity focus which is very important for this shot. Secondly I will pinch to zoom to 8x which is the maximum I can get with the native Google camera app and for pixels it's better to zoom in instead of cropping the image in post because zooming in will trigger the super res zoom which will enhance your photo quality. The third thing you need to do is to activate the infinity focus and that's a really powerful feature in the Google camera app especially in a situation like this as it's very hard to focus on a subject that far without manual focus controls. So now we are done with the focus, finally the exposure. And as you see the moon is very bright so if you took the image like this the moon will be blown out. So I will tap on the subject to get the manual exposure controls and here is another powerful feature available on the Pixel 4 which is the dual exposure as I can adjust the shadows and the highlights separately. First I will drag the shadows slider to the minimum because I don't want to see any flares around the moon to produce a clean image and then I will adjust the highlights to the level I like. For me I prefer to set it to the minimum or just increase it a little bit to see as much details as I can. Once you are happy with the look of the moon, hit the shutter key. And here are the best results I got out of the Pixel 4 XL. The first image has the shadows and the highlights controls set to the minimum. The image looks very clean and shows good amount of details. And this is another one with a slight increase in the highlights slider. It also looks good to me. Now let's move to the iPhone. I will do the same thing here using the same tripod and the night mode got activated automatically with 4 seconds exposure time. And I set the zoom to 8x here as well because I will compare the outcome of each phone at the end. And the first issue I had with the iPhone is in the focus. As you can see the iPhone is struggling to focus on the subject and I don't have the infinity focus or any manual focus controls. So let's drag down the brightness anyways and here is the first shot. As you see because the night mode is active the image came out brighter than what I expected. So I will try again but this time I will turn off the night mode and give it another try. After taking the shot without the night mode the image came out dark but the moon looks like a circle without any details because of the focus issue. And to solve this problem I downloaded a free camera app to give me some manual controls. The app is called Yamra. It's a free app with 5 stars rating on the app store so let's see the steps I did. Here's the Yamra app and it gives me only 6x zoom so it doesn't match the Pixel 4 XL image but this is not a problem. Then I adjusted the focus manually and I got the best result at 0.8. So you need to play around with this based on which phone you are using until you get the best result. Next the exposure and here I set the ISO to the minimum which is 32 and played around with the shutter until I got the best looking results and that was at 1 over 223. Next the white balance but here I will keep it as it is because I see good white balance without making any changes. So let's take the shot. As you see the results are a lot better than what we got from the native camera app. However the image quality is not that good. Maybe that's an issue with the app itself. But still it's better than what we got from the native camera. App. And finally the Pixel 3 XL. Here I did the same thing I did with the Pixel 4 XL. I set the zoom to the maximum which is 7x. Activated night sight and the infinity focus. And dragged the exposure slider to the minimum. And now let's check the results of the Pixel 3 XL. The Pixel 3 XL was struggling to focus on the subject even with the infinity focus and the moon has a blue tint on it. So I tried few times but with no joy. 
So I had to use also a third party app on the Pixel 3 XL called HD Camera and the download link is in the description below. So I kept playing around with the settings and here's the best shot I got from the HD Camera app with the settings I used on top of it. I also used the same HD camera app on the Pixel 4 XL to see if I can get better results and here is the best shot I got from the HD camera app and yes it looks slightly better than the native G cam of the Pixel 4 XL. Now let's put them side by side if we're gonna compare the native camera apps the Pixel 4 XL produced the best shot it has the highest amount of detail and looks very clean. The Pixel 3 XL comes second because it showed some details but it couldn't nail the focus 100% and added a blue tint to the shot. Finally, the 11 Pro Max produced the worst shot. It didn't produce any details. And when we compare the results of the third party apps, again, the Pixel 4 XL produced the best shot followed by the Pixel 3 XL and the iPhone comes third. So that was a quick comparison between the three but also a how-to guide for you to let you know how to take good shots of the moon using third-party apps or your native camera apps based on your mobile. And that's pretty much it. Those are the best shots I managed to take from each device. So please let me know in the comments what are the best settings you will use in this situation. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.